Hey guys, it's Devin. Welcome to my channel. I am new here to YouTube. If you hear anything in the background, that is my little bulldog, Lily, yumming on a, a peanut butter conk, getting gross, but better that than her crying the whole time, so. This is my ultimate first semester nursing school haul. So much stuff here I want to show you guys. I'm really going to try not to forget anything, but if y'all think of something that I didn't even cross my mind, please, please, please write it in the comments. So let's get right into it. First, we'll do writing utensils. They are so important. Some highlighters. Just a little four pack. Probably gonna need to buy a shit ton more of these because I highlight like nobody's business. So as a nurse, you're gonna wanna get clicky pens. Caps are bothersome and easy to lose. And also it's just fun to click pens. I was able to find gel click pens and ballpoint click pens. Also needed pencils. Never know when you're gonna have a Scantron or a math test. I got these super cute mechanical pencils. They look just like old-fashioned like wooden pencils and actual old-fashioned mechanical pencils. These I found are really good when somebody's like, can I borrow a pencil? And you're like, no, my pencils cost like five dollars. Like I'm not gonna let you borrow it. So give them one of these cheap suckers and you've made a friend. Uh, also Sharpies, but I always hear about nurses, how Sharpies are so important to their day. Thicker Sharpies for writing on actual like IV bags and thinner Sharpies for writing on medication bottles. Oh. That's perfect. That's cool. If a nurse is ever like, where's my Sharpie? I can be like, here you go when I'm at clinical. It's all about being a teacher's pet. Also, I'll get into this more later, but I also got an Erin Condren planner for the first time. It is so cute and I just love it. But when I ordered it, um, it has a dry erase board in it. So I got these like dry erase markers. I got these like planner markers. They have the fine point, the regular like medium point, and I love the fine point. My handwriting and fine point pen on that planner is like better than I ever knew it could be. Like, it okay, and this is me being a teacher's pet again. I would recommend getting one of those big fat expo markers to keep in your pencil bag. The professor literally is always, always, always running out of ink in those things. And if she's getting upset and you're like, here you go, professor, you can keep it, she'll be like, who are you? You know, it's just a it's just a little way to kiss ass. Maybe, you know, she'll remember your name or your face better in, in a positive way. To put all of this crap in, I got this just kind of like a cute pencil bag. It says flawless. It's like burlap. It's got a tassel. Oh my goodness, and look, it's gold on the inside. Oh, and <laughs> one of the most important things, <laughs> you need a sticky notes. I'm just laughing because I love these sticky notes so much. But y'all or band-aids like the large band-aid the medium band-aid and the little bit band they're just and you could use all three i mean i got them online forget where i can leave it below if anybody really wants these because like why not get five because they were like 80 cents i'll also get into some office supplies need as a stapler this was a new buy for me i moved i like lost a bunch of shit in my move don't forget to buy the staples they're an important part of the stapler. Not that I did that. But this baby saves lives. Not kidding. It's not that I'll lose my papers if they're not in my binder, but they'll get gross. Crinkled and folded. Definitely get a three hole punch and a stapler. Make sure you have a printer. It saves you so much time and money. Thumb drive. Do people still use these? Do people still call them these? This is a disk drive. People who have the earlier or smaller versions of Macs know what I'm talking about. We don't have disk drives. You never know when you're going to get a piece of software or a video. So I recommend buy it. It was just like 20 bucks. Binders and stuff. Well, I'm taking two courses, pharmacology and fundamentals of nursing. Fundamentals of nursing meets for lecture two times a week. Pharmacology meets for lecture one time a week. But fundamentals of nursing also has a lab day. All damn day. That lab day will disappear and it'll be the clinical day. This is my little bitty cute pharmacology binder. All I need in that is a notebook and note cards. Inside I have a folder for those pesky papers that aren't three hole punched for me to transport these um, home and three hole punch them and stick them back in. Three subject lime green notebook. I try to just have a notebook, a folder, and a binder. This is my fundamentals. <laughs> is my Fundamentals of Nursing binder. It's much bigger than the pharmacology one. My professor loves her slides. I want a slide printed for every one of her lectures. This is a big bad boy. So in my blue binder, I have like this bluish folder. Blue notebook. 
my lab slash clinical. It has its own binder because it's its own animal. You name. This is what I take to lab. A holder. My black notebook. And this is my favorite. This is the miniature notebook for this class that fits right in my scrub pocket. It's just so handy. And it's so cute. I forgot to get dividers. Dividers would be super handy for separating handouts from notes, from assignments to calendar. Like I have the calendar and all of my dividers are a good thing. Um, handbook of nursing diagnosis. This actually came with my fundamentals book. This was like a little bonus thing through mine. <laughs> As if they throw anything in. I obviously paid like $200 for it. That pack was like 500 This is a book I was required to get, um, Nursing Health Assessment. Nurse's Drug Guide. Probably about to come in handy when I start learning my drugs next week. Medical Dictionary. I love this thing. Everyone has an online dictionary and stuff, but I love going through and highlighting. Why not just Google it? I don't know. I just, I like the book. Here's the big bad boy. We never bring this to class. All our reading assignments are in it though. And it is the heaviest, most expensive book I've ever laid my eyes on. And that came with that little handbook. And also came with it is this, which is a study guide for that class. And this is just uh, basically dimensional analysis. <laughs> God, I mean, that word. I took a whole course about this like last summer. I'm shocked I just grasped for that word. This is a new version, but same author of the book I used. I was obsessed with that book. I would read it every night. Very helpful. It was mandatory for us to get. Not like an NCLEX guide, but an, an NCLEX style guide, you know, helps you um, understand that kind of testing format. And it's also directly pertaining to nursing. This is my pharmacology book. I super like this book. I cannot put it down. The chapters are really short. It's really concise. It's easy to understand. That book came with this. Who knows? I mean, I don't I don't know. No one's talked about it. No one's mentioned it. I've never looked inside it. I don't know. I, I don't know, you know. I don't know. Also, with the pharmacology, I got this, which is really important. We use this all the time. Nursing fundamentals, I also got this. Really, really good software. You have like two dozen patients you can pick from and like assess them and do all this stuff, interact with them. There's like a million different things you can say to them and they can say back. We use the videos on here a lot, checklists. It um, has a free ebook download in it too. If you like ebooks, I don't get you. But talk about um, stuff I got for clinical. My pretty pink calculator. You're gonna do math. Bring a calculator. Nobody thinks to bring a calculator. Bring your calculator, put it in your clinical bag. The crowning glory of what you need for clinicals is your staffy. As you can see here, I'm extra as hell. I got the cardio four. You do not need a cardio four. Everyone gets the classic three. It's not a big deal if you get whatever they sell at the bookstore. I'm not gonna lie, I'm obsessed with it, girl. I hear better than everyone else around. People have Littmans too, and it's like, I think the cardio four really makes a difference. Nobody could hear this girl's pulse, and I was like, what are you talking about? It worked perfectly. Like, it's the sounds are so crisp. Oh, yeah, so here's my baby. I got the breast cancer pink. It's called Rose. I got, like, this cute little, like, jewel on it. I'm not bragging enough. My boyfriend bought me this. It, it was a birthday present. He got it engraved with um, my last name. I love it. I love to use it. I oscillate Lily all the time. People, these are just bandage scissors. A hemostat. A sphygmo manometer. A sphygmo manometer. A sphygmo manometer. I said it right the first time. It used to take your blood pressure. You're going to try to do this in class and suck at it and be scared that you're never going to learn it. So get one and practice at home. My stethoscope came with, he ordered it from Med, MedSafe? MediSafe? And so they threw in this pen light. <laughs> I swear I'm not drinking. <laughs> so afraid to try it again. This pen light. You need a pen light. No questions. Absolutely. 100% need is watch. A nursing watch. Look at this beauty.
Our scrubs are white, so. But I super love this watch because, let me tell you, let me tell you. It's waterproof, so it's not gonna get messed up when you wash your hands. It has the second sweeping hand. Mm. So there's red numbers above the big black numbers. That's military time. It has military time. If someone says like, meet me there at 1800 hours, you can look at your watch and be like, 1800 hours, 10 minutes away. If you don't have that down yet, I think it'll help. I can think Carrie is hand sanitizer. I would also recommend bringing lotion. Uh, Cause my hands, I've already noticed I've always had the softest hands and they're like already cracking. It's really depressing. A recorder. And it's also a bracelet that resembles a Fitbit, right? And when you're done recording the lecture, you pop it out and just boop, put it right in your computer. This you can hook it right behind your name tag and it's all of the like normal results you would get back from labs and tests. So this is by Prestige Medical. It's like before meals is AC, BID twice a day. I love that it has the quadrants because I learned those like a year or so ago. So it's nice to have all that stuff right in front of you. There's a calculator, a clock, and a timer. Oh, and it's, there's the back too. Keep in your clinical bag a whole thing of hair ties. One of those things that maybe you don't need it, you probably will, but maybe your girl next door needs it. One of those cheap little things you can hand out and make a friend. Just saying. Now is too long. When you can see the now over the the back of your hand, you're too long. So a now file would be super smart to keep in your bag. Because what if your professor sees your nails get too long and she's like, go home, like they're too long. You don't have to. You can run in the bathroom, fix them in three minutes, and then come back out and be like, I'm ready to go. I guess you could just use nail clippers, but that's so harsh. So now on to scrubs. My school lets us pick um, whatever scrub pants we want. They just have to be white. So I went to the, I'm going to say it wrong. I say Janu. I got a few pair of scrub pants from them. So these are the skinnies. Literally look like skinny jeans. Oh, they're so soft. These are kind of more like trendy. These are my faves. They have this high waist that nobody can see because it's obviously on my belly button and I would never wear scrubs tucked in. So <laughs> that's what they look like. They have these cute zippers. You know, there's no button. It's just a zipper. They're super stretchy and comfy and they have nice little back pocket. This is one of my scrub tops. It's just a white one. Under here, I'll I'm a student. I can't show you my school's name because I can embarrass them, basically. <laughs> it's a color. It's teal. Not my favorite color, but still so cute. Like, love it. We get this thing, which I think is so great. It's kind of like half lab coat, half hoodie. That's what it looks like. It's got, like, hoodie sleeves, and it looks, like, still, like, very professional. <laughs> I got nursemates, y'all. They're like the least ugly nursing shoes I could find. Yeah, that's what they look like. You can order them in a wide too, so you have a wide foot like me. Oh my God, how could I forget? The most important part of your scrubs, and I'm not kidding you, if you have to wear white pants, I'm like, I'm really sorry. Skin color panties. I was the only one in my class that you couldn't see my panties or my panty lines super like crazy thin material it's really breathable and comfortable and nobody can see my baby you're gonna need to wear white sock they will sock check you and for my ladies who are married you're not allowed to have any jewelry except for a stoneless meaning no diamonds or any stones just a plain um wedding band of the single class but one, a few of the girls in my class, they found this website where you can literally get a silicone um, like ring to go around, which is accepted in most hospitals and in the classroom. And because you can wash it easily and it's boring, you can get like a boring color. And um, it just lets everybody else know that you ain't single. Because it does, I could imagine it would feel weird walking around without your, um, your wedding band on. So that's another thing to consider if you are married or about to be. These glasses, 
our costume glasses. And they make me feel smarter, I swear to God. I do better when I have my glasses on. And these help. They also come in handy when you don't have time to do your makeup and throw the hair up in a bun. If you put the glasses on, people are like, oh, she's been studying. But this is my best friend. I love, it's so important to get your sleep. You need to stay sharp. Sleeping mask seriously helped me because I need the TV on, but also the light bothers me. It makes me look less undesirable when my boyfriend wakes up and sees me like, like that looks, that looks cuter. You'll need a lunch box. For my school, we're not in the cafeteria building. There's nothing to, we have a 30 minute break. We're right next to a bunch of nice restaurants. But it would be like a five minute drive, so obviously like it's not walkable in 30 minutes. So I have started meal prepping. And this lunchbox is so cute too because it came with um, like this bigger container and the smaller container. So I usually I do like my hot stuff in this and then like, like fruit or salad in this. And it's really cool too because it comes with this like little icy and it actually sticks right in here. I don't know why I'm bragging about this lunchbox. I'm just really impressed with it. I just picked this bad boy up. It's good because you probably won't be able to drink or eat in your classroom. So this, I'll keep it really cold all day and you can shove it in your bag and it'll be safe and secure and nice and cool for you. A coffee machine. If you don't drink coffee, that's fine. I'm actually really proud of you and I don't understand how you do it. If you do, good for you. It's actually shown to um, have health benefits. Plus like coffee is like, Life. If you're a coffee drinker, you're not always going to have time to stop at Starbucks. And it gets expensive, okay? We're falling on a budget. You need to get your own coffee maker. I got a curry because my boyfriend, he went crazy in Target. He's like never experienced a Target high before. And that was like his first one. And he was just like running around, throwing everything in the cart. And we got this really cute curry. But, um, and I really like it a lot. So I would definitely recommend it because it does your coffee. If you keep it plugged in, so it doesn't have to go through the warm-up process. It does your coffee in like under 20 seconds. So this is my clinical bag. I'll keep like my school like ID thing that I have to clip on my uniform where I keep my sterile gloves. Like in the whole majority of it, I'll keep like my trauma gown and my mask. Yeah. And, oh, and I'll keep my wallet in there too. In here... It's a massive space full of compartments. My professor is really good about telling us exactly what we need to bring. And like today I had to bring like an oxygen cannula and an oxygen mask. Like sterile swabs, my safety goggles. I also keep my clinical binder in here. It barely fits, but it fits. I'll pick one of these sides to pick, put like my lip balm, my lipstick, my phone, and like personal stuff. And then I'll, this other side, I put like my pens, pen light, like you know, just like the little stuff that I don't want to get lost. I like to carry it like this, like briefcase style, but there are also straps. So you can carry it on your back too if you want. And it almost matches. This is a diaper bag I bought from Target. And it actually works really well as a, a clinical bag. But I'm not going to clinical. I just use this backpack. Pens and crap in here. Wallet and drinks in here. Notebooks, binders in here, laptop in there. I also have a MacBook that I keep in this little thing. It's like nice and felt inside so it keeps it nice and safe and unscratched. The last thing that you will undoubtedly need for nursing school is a planner. Well, I got Erin Condren. I custom made the cover here. It says, what would Elle Woods do? I liked, I, yeah, Elle Woods is an idol of mine. I like to think, what would Elle Woods do in every situation? It's helpful. On the back, I had to put my dog. I'm a stage mom. I put my baby in uncomfortable outfits and pose like professional photos of her myself and um, plaster them on my belongings. You open it up and this is like the part I was saying is it's dry erase. I like the little box because I can mark off my week. This, something I ordered separately, and it's just like a bookmark. In the back, it does come with what appear to be stickers, a pocket, and another dry erase board. This is a lesson I did have to learn the hard way. You can't go online to theerincondren.com and only buy the cheapest planner. You have to upgrade this. You have to add in that. I was using Christmas money, so I'm like, I'm gonna spoil myself and just get a bunch of crap. So I got 
the school tracker dashboard. Another reason I wanted those dry erase pens. So this is a Monday through Friday thing you can write in. Long-term assignments, upcoming quizzes and tests. And then on this side, priorities. If you're using symbols, there's a little key for you. All assignments by class assignment and due date, which is like, great. This says, oh, what to eat. And either meal plan your groceries or decide what you're gonna actually be eating. And I have been doing so much cooking and so much meal planning, I thought this would be really good. Just the best way to get things done is to begin. Just your to-do list, where you want on it. I have a million like random things on my to-do list every day, so. Oh, yeah, ah, these um, are so cute. These are like post-it notes, and they fit perfectly for the squares of the by the month calendar. Oh, look, there's a picture. Dress it up. So, yeah, from binders and notebooks to textbooks to clinical supplies to study supplies to how you're going to eat and drink throughout class to what you're going to wear, I think I now then covered just about everything. If I forgot anything, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching my video. It was good meeting y'all. I'm super psyched to be here. Hopefully I reminded you of some things maybe that slipped your mind and you can be a better prepared nursing student. Good luck!